Hello, hey, this is Angie Huffman, and I am here as the founder and owner of Be Well, God Bless, and I am with Dan, uh, Dan Kramer. Um, and what we do is help people who are doing what God is calling them to do, and that is definitely where Dan is at. Uh, I, every time I talk to Dan, I just can feel the Holy Spirit. I can hear God talking through Dan, and, and as I'm driving down the road and I'm listening to him, um, I just always get great, great wisdom. So very excited and reached out to Dan and said, hey, will you teach me uh, and do a video call together so I can learn out loud from you, Dan, um, from your wisdom, from your knowledge, and then we can share that with the community of Be Well, God Bless. Um, so Dan uh, lives in Solon, Iowa. He is a life transition coach. And I'm going to have you just explain a little bit more about that, Dan, before we get into the training or our lesson for tonight, which is the acronym of values. And that is something that uh, you have come up with uh, and kind of, again, just listen to God speak to you. Um, and so I want to learn about that. But first, just tell us a little bit more about who Dan is. Okay. Um, as first of all, uh, my... Uh, I'm married for um, my wife, Shelly, for 25 going on 26 years. We have two sons, Austin and Brandon, both in college. And we live out near uh, Lake McBride, near the Solon uh, community. And uh, I got into the world of uh, life transformation and transitional codes because of the fact that uh, I just see that as we move forward in time, we've got a lot of changes in our transitions of our life personally and also employment and basically and simply the fact that it all begins with who we are and what we're all about. And, you know, if we're going to really show up from the idea of knowing that we're here for a higher calling, for a higher purpose, we have to know that our Lord Jesus Christ is with us and wants the biggest best from us. So as I help individuals kind of look at the world of where they've been in the past where they are today, and more important is where they want to navigate toward and into the future. To live a life of more joy, more love, more peace. And since we're not simple, we're highly complex people as far as our living human beings. Um, to try to get it together and try to get it together for the right reason, for the right purpose, uh, I really believe that the Holy Spirit is within us. But sometimes I think it has to be drawn out. And I think that it has to be uh, have a vision for being clear. What is that value that uh, we're all about? And so tonight, I want to really get connected to the acronym values. Awesome. Good. Well, let's get into that. Tell me what does values mean in, in the world where you're teaching and, and connecting with people? Well, in the world of values, it all comes into the idea that whatever we choose to buy in our world from a monetary perspective, whether or not it's a product or service, we want a value. We want a good deal. And when I think about the idea that who we are and what we're all about, we want to know and understand that we are a value. And when I think about B as in visionary. We have, each and every one of us, we have in the world of, if we put ourselves smack into the triangle, uh, have three critical points of our triangle, we're either of the past or the yesterdays, last weeks, the last months, last years, or right here, right now, right with you, Angie, or more important is we are into the future. And so when I think about, you know, where we've been in the past, to learn from the past, and then apply that into our present. And more important is have a vision for our hopes and our dreams and our inspirations about where we want to be in the days ahead. So a visionary about being the captain of your ship, reinventing yourself and with a plan just makes much bigger sense to have a vision for going forward. So when I think about vision, I think about the idea that we have to have an agenda based and connected to that uh, vision. So what's our agenda? Well, what do we want to do and what do we want to achieve and what do we want to accomplish on our agenda, which is the A. And when we have an agenda that we know and understand that is an agenda that really speaks to us, not from the outside world, but within ourselves, that's the power within. 
And so when I coach individuals, I don't coach them from the outside, but I coach them within, from the inside. And for who we are and what we're all about, I believe we have a higher calling for a higher purpose. And it's to their to the higher divine, which I call it, refer to as our Lord Jesus Christ. What is his what does he want? for the agenda that um, he would ask us to do. And that's what I do is help individuals identify that agenda. So um, creating an agenda then connects to the idea of how then L is connected to our lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle do we want? Do we want a rich and famous lifestyle? Do we live a life of uh, a lifestyle of simplicity? Do we want a lifestyle of health? and optimizing mind, body, and spirit. What kind of lifestyle do we want? And when it really comes down to it, is it the lifestyle that's connected to a heavenly divine and a heavenly God as far as that purpose? Or more of the idea of a lifestyle that is trying to please him, her, or them? Or is it a lifestyle that you really thought about and created as a design for who you are and what you're all about? So when I think about a lifestyle, it's got to be a lifestyle that's connected to you, within you. It's got to connect with, uh, in my case, uh, my spouse, Shelly, and with my children, and for my God. And, um, you know, that's the lifestyle I want to be connected to. And when I think about coaching individuals, there's a, always a question about what lifestyle is what you're living and more important is what kind of changes you want to make as you go forward and uh, connecting to the idea of being you and and the values of you is in the idea that we all are uniquely different. And um, with that DNA, uh, that characteristics of being different is tapping into an understanding that you are extremely important. You are significant. You are of value. And then you have to understand about the idea of how that value then is uh, capitalized on. And when I think about all the gifts I've ever had in my world in life, whether or not it's a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, or a gift of a wedding gift, um, all the gifts and any gifts that I've ever received in my life, the gift that is within you and connected to you, that is, and I believe, your most special gift. And capitalizing on that unique you to be connected to the idea of bringing that totally and fully out, to bloom and to blossom, and to allow yourself just to fully live a life of joy and peace and love. you got to get to know you. And when do we take a time out to get a tune-up? And when do we take a time out to it, under, understand the value that's within us? We go through days, weeks, months, and years, and then we find ourselves where maybe we're not happy. Maybe we're discontent. Maybe we're worried. Maybe we're stressed. Maybe we have anxiety. Maybe we need to do and take some time out to really take and identify where we've been, where we're at, and more important is to have an agenda for where we want to go. But identifying what it is that we need versus what we want, what we want to say yes to as opposed to what we want to say no to, and an idea of knowing and understanding we need to survive, but we also need to thrive. And so when I kept life on knowing and understanding who we are, it's that you. And, um, you know, we age, we get older, and then unfortunately we die. So how do we want to live in this space to be a-okay with who we are? And that's the you that's connected to E is in encompass. Encompasses is really not from the outside world, but encompassing that incredible, complex, living human being that you are. Um, and if we encompass that and bring value to that, then all of a sudden we find ourselves into identifying our gifts, our abilities, our talents, our strengths. So I coach individuals to make that transformation and that transition from who they thought they were to really truly who they actually are. And not based on him or her or them, but based on who they discover of identifying their unique 
creature of design, it brings out what I believe is the greatest gift of the greatest present, and that's within myself. But it takes work, and it takes the opportunity to be open-minded, and it takes the opportunity to change. And I really believe that where much of the change happens is within the mind. We have to do a mind shift. We have to capitalize on the idea of knowing and understanding that um, we're not simple, but we're complex. And we have to encompass everything we can be. And that comes into the word um, on the three S's. And that is, we really want to be successful. And anytime you play an athletic game, and when you go out, whether or not it's an NFL or whether or not it's an NBA or whatever sport it is, that team that they have on one side and then the other side is to win. Mm -hmm. So in order to be the captain of your ship and reinvent yourself with a life plan, it's really how you play the game. How can you be successful to play not the athletic game or not any other game as far as Monopoly game or any other board game? But what we're talking about is we're talking about the life game. It's asking the question is, are we playing our game, which is our life game, to win, to be successful? And then if we are successful, are we being able to tap into who we are and what we're all about for our gifts, our abilities, our talents, and our strengths? To be successful in order to be able to serve for those people that we need to connect to to really find that joy and happiness and peace within them as well as ourselves and pass it on. Pass it on to, that's, I think the, the biggest recipe in our life is to find a love with who we are so we can be significant. And when we put that all together, what I do is help individuals make that transformation not simple, not easy, it requires a lot of open mind, and it takes a lot of energy, and it takes a lot of commitment, and it takes a lot of uh, discipline to make that kind of change. But I am there to support that and coach that and bring that out and to empower them to be in control about their life and their world so they can be good models and great models, not only of thyself, great models as taking leadership roles and being a spouse being a, a parent, being a role model of an employer or an employee, to be a leader. And that's what to be the captain of your ship, reinventing yourself, is really to capitalize on being a great leader. And many times over, what I've found in the 25, going on 26 years of my marriage life, many times I'm a leader, but then many times over, my wife, she takes over and she leads. So well, that, that's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. But I need to be a good no. follower. I need to be a good follower mm -hmm. as a good leader. Yes. So when we get good it together partners. and get it connected to the idea of being in captain of our ship and reinventing ourselves, then what we can do is we can bring the value within ourselves, value to our families, value to our employment, value to our community. All the way around, everyone wins. And I don't see anybody here that really truly loses when you have a plan. And uh, I would just identify the fact that if I gave you a quarter to a third to a half a million dollars and asked you to build a home, would you and your husband and your family or your children or anyone, would you know whether or not they would not have a blueprint for their life? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Blueprint for their house. Why not have a blueprint for your life? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because it makes more sense. You'll have less anxiety, much more peace of mind, right. much more joy. So be the captain of your ship, reinvent yourself, and capitalize having a life plan. Mm -hmm. I like that's that. what I do. So the, the B uh, is vision. Reiterate this here. V is vision. The A is for the year agenda. The L is for your lifestyle. U is the unique you that you have. The E is encompass. And S is for successful. 
Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it, Angie. That's couldn't have said it any bigger, better, Angie. I mean, that is, and I really enjoy this. this is a, a very, um, I don't know, it's a, a mystical, magical gift. I'm so grateful um, to know and understand that I can really help individuals transition and transform into being who they are and what they really want to be and have in their life is that joy, that love, that peace of mind. Um, our complexity of our world is not getting easier. So I think there's a necessity here to get it right. Right. Tell me a little bit more, Dan, about the people that you do want to work with. Like, who is it that um, that is the best fit or, or people? What are their challenges? What are their struggles where you would be, you know, a true blessing to be able to come and walk beside them on their journey? What sort of people are you able to help the best? Well, you know, I've helped several different people going through a lot of many transitions uh, from individuals contemplating whether or not they want to get married or not. Um, individuals that had been married, individuals that had been separated, divorced, uh, individuals that had lost their loved ones, individuals who were considering the possibility of going into retirement, um, midlife, emptiness. Uh, it's been a combination of really changes, significant changes. And um, with those changes brings anxiety and stress and worry. And many times over, rather than going to the option of a psychiatry or a psychologist or counselor, uh, life transformation transitional coach is basically simply identifying kind of where you've been, where you're at, and more important is where you want to go. So. Um, I look at myself as an option, uh, but uh, also I look at myself within the idea of knowing and understanding that um, it's all about uh, moving forward and having that hopes and dreams. And so um, what I do just to make sure that we're all on the same page here is I offer a, a free uh, complimentary I, typically have an interview with the individuals that were considering the possibility of uh, working with me and we identify whether or not we're a good match and I have to be a good coach for who it is that I'm working with and they have to be a okay with who I am as their coach to really commit to making some really great changes. And so I offer that um, interview, consultation, complimentary, whatever you might want to call it, just to see whether or not it's a good fit. And if we are, then what we do is we work out the logistics. And then once we work the logistics out, we move forward. And then we either uh, coach by what we're doing here on the video or by phone or in person at my office here at Lake McBride. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. And you, so you do one on one coaching. Do you also do speaking or group coaching or workshops? Or I know that you've kind of, uh, done some of these different things too. So you go beyond just the one on one coaching, too. Is that correct? Right, right. Uh, this September, uh, I'm planning on having a um, retreat uh, here at the Solon Public Library. And the, uh, the title of that uh, workshop is going to be Be the Captain of Your Ship and Make Every Day Count. And what we're going to do is how we're going to optimize mind, body, and spirit. And um, it's going to be one day. And uh, we're just now working out the uh, details related to in regard to the idea of what we're going to have for the agenda. But we're planning on having it at the middle of September. Don't have a definitive date. Um, at one particular point in time, I was kind of looking at September 15th if that might work out. So, um I certainly will let you know, Angie, and all those individual members of Be Well, God Blessed. So. And I'm planning on doing also some more uh, additional marriage retreats as we come up. Um, I've got some connections that I want to uh, get and really want to go forward. Uh, I went to a, a writer's workshop here a couple weeks ago up in Cedar Falls. And made some really great contacts and connections and 
kind of the, the big theme right now is individuals that are going through major transitions in their life and identifying the fact that they want to utilize their time wisely and they want to have more of the idea of living a life of purpose. And so uh, the retreats are going to continue to strive around um, my captain's wheel. And I don't know if you want me to explain that to you or not, but maybe add another video. Or I think add another thoughts. video, yeah. I would say at another video that would be a good uh, good lesson for me to, to get into and learn. Yeah. yeah. I, I would have to say that if anybody's interested in who we are, what we're all about, um, for what work I do, uh, they can contact www.danjkramer.com. There's a um, updated website in addition to the idea that there's a lifestyle assessment, kind of validates, verifies kind of where you're at. And what it is, is um, then from that assessment, it kind of identifies uh, the areas that you're strong and the areas that you're weak. And I'll, um, that's when, it, if we choose to have a, a get together, <clears throat> I basically will have a, uh, uh, interview with you to find out what the assessment and what and how you, uh, what you got from the assessment and more important is, uh, your thoughts about going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's wonderful. Great. Well, I so thank you again for your time. Um, I think that that wisdom you're sharing, that insight that you're getting is just a wonderful blessing to, to share out with other people. So I know uh, personally from my own family experience when, uh, when Dan shows up and, and he is using his gift, it does create a ripple. And it's a very, very positive ripple. So. I just uh, greatly thank you for what you're doing and, and thanks for listening to God and thanks for, you know, getting outside your comfort zone and just going out and sharing it with people and, like I said, making a, a positive, positive ripple in the lives of, of many other people. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm blessed to know you and blessed the fact you're going forward and pursuing what I believe this overall country of America really needs is um, we need to really connect with the idea of the heavenly divine mm -hmm. and uh, go forward into living a life from a more of a spiritual connection um, and treat people the way we want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And uh, so bless you for what you're doing, Angie. Thanks, Dan. All right. Well, you have a, a wonderful evening and be well and God bless. Sounds good. You too. Thank you so much, Angie. Yep. Appreciate the offer and the opportunity.